was held earlier. Well, on the line to get more information, the DA's Federal Executive Chair or ex-Federal Chair come October, Mr. James Self joins us on the line. A very good evening to you, Mr. Self. We thank you very much for joining us this evening. Essentially, have you been asked to leave or did you step down from your position of Federal Executive Chair voluntarily? I stepped down voluntarily. I have been 19 and a bit years in the job. Uh, that's been a very long time. The job is very hard. Uh, it demands a lot of time. Uh, and I have decided to uh, take up a new challenge, which is to help steer our government to greater success. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that challenge uh, greatly. And um, I will start that job in earnest after I formally step down in October. Why now? Well, there's never a good time, there's never a bad time, um, but uh, we have recognised already that the performance of our go government will be absolutely critical to our success in 2021. Uh, we picked it up during the election that voters were somewhat dissatisfied with the way that our government had performed, and my job is to ensure that they deliver, they deliver according to our manifesto, they communicate their delivery, and that they work in synergy with the party. Now, in talk of trying to possibly exert more control behind the scenes per se, how influential is your new role to that of being federal chair executive? Well, uh, my job in the federal executive was really to manage the day-to-day -day operations of the party. Uh, I will be stepping down from that. Somebody else will be taking over who will be elected at our federal council in October. Um, and my role will now simply be confined to interacting with our governments and making sure that they perform optimally. In terms of your new role, what sort of plans do you have set up going forward? Well, we would like to be in more regular contact with our mayors, with our mayoral committee members, with our caucuses, to make sure that they understand what the, their mission is, to make sure that they are geared to deliver at every opportunity to make sure that they communicate with the public so that the public know exactly what they can deliver on and if they can't deliver, what the impediments to delivery are. So um, that will be quite a time-consuming job and I will be spending quite a lot of time interacting directly with them, but I'm really looking forward to it. Now, what's the importance of this and what do you think new you could be bringing to this role? Well, um, what I can bring is that obviously I can bring a political perspective. Uh, we have had a government unit up until now which has mainly been technical. It's given technical advice, but frequently the problems that face our government, our mayors, are political problems, and uh, our professionals are not able to give political advice in the way that I can. Um, and uh, I will try and uh, help them and uh, draw their challenges to the attention of the federal executive so that we can resolve them to the benefit of the people uh, that live in those municipalities. Are you at liberty to give more details as to who would be possibly taking your position as the federal executive chair? Well, um, I simply don't know. It's an elected position. Uh, people are free to nominate themselves and I, I'm sure that the process will result in a very good uh, success of being elected. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. That was DA's